Hey there, I'm Eloise from Sydney, and I've got an incredible story to share with you. Want to know what it is? Then make sure to like and subscribe to MSA. Ever since I can remember, my parents always made sure I felt like the luckiest kid alive, with their huge business and a home life filled with love and attention. I was their world, and I knew no one could replace me. I was proud to be their special one. One of my earliest memories is visiting the zoo with my parents and seeing a baby elephant that I just had to play with, even though it wasn't allowed. My parents made sure my wish was granted. As I played with the elephant, I saw a lady who gave me the warmest smile. Wow, you are one lucky girl. I sure am. My life was good. I was surrounded by love and support from my amazing parents. For my 16th birthday, my parents rented out a whole luxury hotel and threw me a huge party. They even hired my absolute favorite singer to perform for me and my friends. To make things even better, my crush Lionel showed up and gave me the most beautiful gift. These Cartier earrings made me think of you. They match your big, beautiful eyes. Wow, Lionel, they're gorgeous, thank you. Everything was perfect until we were home and my parents sat down to tell me something that would change my life forever. Honey, we have something to tell you. Um, we need you to meet someone. This is Nicola. Oh my, you've grown so much. You have my eyes and your hair is so long, just like mine. It was odd, this woman seemed familiar to me. Thank you so much for taking such good care of my daughter. Very funny. No way. Mom, Dad, what is she talking about? If this is some kind of joke, let me tell you, it's not at all funny. Eloise, honey, I know we should have told you before, but it never felt like the right time. We adopted you when you were just a baby, and Nicola, she's your birth mom. Wow, I felt like my head was spinning. Oh my god, you're telling me this now? This this is crazy! And why is she back? Are you guys unadopting me or something? I won't leave! Oh, sweetheart, no! Eloise, I know you must have so many questions. But honey, I'm so sorry for everything. Right now, I have been through some really tough times. And I'm so happy that your parents have been kind enough to help us out. Us? And at that moment, there she was, a girl so identical to me. We could be twins if she didn't dye her hair purple. This is your sister, Sasha. She's three years younger. She's Eloise, OMG. I'm so excited to meet you. I've always dreamed of my big sister. She hugged me so hard that I felt she'd choke me. So let me get this straight. You gave me up and then had another daughter? Why? Eloise, we're sorry about this. No, it's okay. That's a fair question. Eloise, darling, of course, I loved you. I, I still do. But when I had you, I wasn't ready for a kid. I was not well. It was hard to let you go, even if they are great parents. But we're finally reunited, and now we'll spend time together. It's gonna be amazing. Amazing? Her words were giving me a headache. Mom saw how distressed I was and took me to my room to talk. She explained that Nicola needed financial support, and they had decided to help her by getting her a place near our home and a job as mom's assistant. She asked if I was okay with it, but what could I say? I was still trying to take it all in when Sasha asked me to show her around. I wasn't super excited about it, but she she seemed pretty pumped, so I said yes. It's so dark in here. You some goth chick or what? Let's open the curtains. Wow, you definitely got the best room in this mansion. You can see the pool from here. You have a lot of stuff. What's this? Ooh, awesome. Can you, um, just put that down? My mom gave it to me. Yeah, I can see that. Saying that, she took out tons of pictures from her backpack and shoved them in my face. I just love these photos of mom and I. We look so happy, right? She loves me so much. She told me all about you when I was growing up, but she said I was her world. As if I didn't already feel bad about my birth mom abandoning me, it had only been a few days since Sasha moved to our town, but she was already driving me crazy. Even though she and my birth mom Nicola had their own place, you'd never know it by how often she came over. Why don't you hang out at your house? Mom wanted my help working for your mom. Looks like you're working real hard. She was constantly snooping around my room, touching my clothes and asking to borrow things. I had given her a bunch of my stuff, but she still wanted more. It was really starting to get on my nerves, especially since it was spring break and I couldn't even go to my friends and rant. Once spring break was over, I was excited to go to school and be normal. But when mom and dad dropped me off at school, I was stunned to see Sasha and Nicola there too. But the weirdest thing was, Sasha was wearing my clothes, the ones I did not give her. Hey, Eloise, how do I look? Gorgeous, right? I know. What are you doing in my clothes? I already gave you some. Why did you take this outfit? Oh, it's just pink as her color. Wow. Eloise, come on. It's her first day at your school. She wanted to look her be best by looking like me in my school? 
couldn't believe it. My parents just had to get Sasha in the same school as me. The moment I entered the hallway, I told my friends everything. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Is that her? Oh my god, she looks just like you. Huh. I looked everywhere for you. This school is so big, like a maze. Hey, are these your friends? Hey, I'm Sasha, Eloise's sister. Yeah, we know. So, what happened to your accent? What accent? Wow, your hair, so awesome. I also love coloring my hair. I had green hair before I colored it purple. I must say, blue is your color, girl. Um, thanks a lot. Purple hair really suits you too. Actually, kind of makes you look like a badass. Thanks. I was thinking about dyeing it black, actually. Then you and Eloise would sure look like twins. Ugh, first day in school and she's charmed my friends. Ugh. Once I got to class, I sat next to Lionel. Thank God, I had some distraction from all the craziness going on in my life. He asked me how my summer break was and I was ready to dish out everything. You won't believe. But right then, the teacher walked in and class started. After class, Lionel's friends took him for basketball practice. The next day, when I woke up for school, I heard Nicola and Sasha downstairs. Perfect. And then I found out that dad would be dropping us both off at school together. I swear I left the car keys here. How can they just vanish? Oh, let me help you. They must be around here somewhere. A look around. It must be there. What's happened to you? Yesterday, you lost your Tag Heuer watch. A day before, you couldn't find your Oakley sunglasses. And then later, both were on your table. Dad, just take the other car. We're gonna be late. Here, found it. It was right here. <laughs> When I arrived at school, I was excited to see my friends, but then I got annoyed when I saw them all around Sasha. To make matters worse, when lunchtime came around, I searched for Lionel everywhere, and then I spotted him with the last person I wanted him to be talking to, Sasha. They were laughing, and once Lionel left, I dragged Sasha to the side. Hey sis, what's up? Don't sis me. First, you and mom just barge into my life, then you start stealing my clothes, then my friends, and now Lionel? Oh, I know what you're trying to do. You want to be me. Admit it. OMG, you're a psycho. What are you even talking about? That guy just thought I was you and we had a laugh. He actually confused me for you. I told him we were sisters. Right, Lionel? Yeah, you guys look so alike. Catch you both later. I tried to leave with Lionel, but my bracelet got stuck in Sasha's bag. When I pulled it, her bag fell off and a box I recognized rolled out. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was the same one that Lionel had gifted me with my earrings still in it. Why do you have these? They're mine. I, I didn't know these were your earrings. My mom gave them to me. Here, you can take them. Your mom gave these to you? Yeah, right. These are limited edition Cartier earrings. Um, all I know is mom found them by the pool. Maybe you put them there when you were going swimming and forgot about them? Yeah, right. Did she think she could get away with it? I had seen her eyeing my jewelry and designer clothes, but to steal? That was crossing the line. I had to keep an eye on Sasha. Soon, I noticed that something was definitely off as mom and dad kept losing small items around the house. I tried telling my parents about everything and was totally surprised when they said I was being too suspicious. They said some of the stuff that had been missing eventually turned up and they must have just forgotten about it. I couldn't believe it. Ugh, I needed concrete proof for mom to believe me. So one day, I snuck into to Sasha and Nicole's house, and when I opened the door, the sight <gasps> left me speechless. So many things were all piled up on a table. Even my snow globe was there. Oh, hey, Eloise, you shouldn't be here. You want to explain all this to my parents, or should I ask Sasha? No, it's not what you think. It is. It's exactly what you think. I'm sorry, Eloise. I won't do it again. We'll leave. You think I'm going to let you run off after this? Right then, all of a sudden, Nicola started crying and Sasha <laughs> hugged her tight. What was happening? It's me who stole all this stuff. Sasha, honey, you don't have to take the blame for it. Eloise, I've had this problem for so long. I just can't resist. I keep taking things without asking. It's something I can't control, no matter how hard I try. I'm so ashamed of myself. We're gonna get through this, Mom. No need to be ashamed. Eloise, Mom's got this thing called kleptomania. She didn't do any of this on purpose. Please, believe me. I didn't want to believe her, but their expression said it all. I knew they weren't lying. So, you're the one who took my earrings? Hmm. But I still don't get why you were acting so strange, copying my every move and everything else. What was that about? Because <sighs> I want to be like you. Since I was a kid, Mom would talk about how adorable you were when she saw you at the zoo. So when I finally met you, I wanted to be the one Mom would love the most. Oh, but I love you both equally. Wait, she abandoned me when I was a kid? How would she... Oh my god, you were the lady I met at the zoo! 
You remembered. That day I saw how happy you were, and I knew I could never give you the luxuries your adopted parents were giving you, so I walked away. But when I had Sasha, I promised myself to be a better mom to her. But, Mom, you're the best. Eloise, now you know the whole thing. I know what Mom did was wrong, but she's all I got. Mom's already on the run because of her problem. Please, just don't tell your parents about all this. I promise, we'll leave first thing tomorrow. My mind was racing with all the new info. Sasha hadn't been trying to hurt me. She was just trying to keep our mom safe. I felt awful forever suspecting her. I knew I had to step in somehow. The next day, when Sasha and Nicola were about to leave the house, my parents stopped them. You, you told them? Why? Because I can't let you go. I just got my sister and mom back and I'm not gonna lose you again. Nicola, we want to help. You gave us the most beautiful gift we could ever ask for. The moment Eloise came into our life, we became family, and families don't leave each other in times of need. Nicola, you need to get better for your daughters. My parents arranged for Nicola to get the help she needed, and while she was away, Sasha stayed with us. We had lots of time to get to know each other better, and it was wonderful. We had movie nights, went on picnics, and even helped each other with our studies. Over time, the bond between us was so strong that I never felt jealous when my friends gathered around us. I was just grateful that I had my sister by my side to share all these experiences with. A few months later, when our mom came back, she was so much better. She was happy and healthy, and I loved seeing her this way. That day, I realized what a special bond a family can have. We may have different beginnings, but we would always be connected by our shared love and care for each other.